Hello and welcome to the 32nd video in this tutorial series programming in C. So we're carrying on with the tic-tac-toe game from where we left off last time and in this uh, video we're going to start implementing some of the functions for the game to actually work. The first thing I want to do before we do that, if I just compile the file we have here and run it, you see that the board is printing in this format here with the border squares and numbers representing noughts, crosses, border squares or empty. Well, let's change that now to something that's a little bit more easy on the eye. And let's make an array called piece cars for the piece characters. And bearing in mind that our constants up here are naught crosses border empty. We'll go naught cross, put a pipe for the border and a dash for the empty. And then actually printing our board, I'm just going to make a double new line at the front of that. And now of course we only really want to print the nine squares in the middle, we don't need the border squares. So let's go from zero to eight for our nine squares and change this modulo here to a three. So we print a new line at the end of each three. And now what we want to do is print, put, change the D to a C to print a character. And this time we want to print piece characters of the piece board index. And also, don't forget that we need to actually convert our index into our 25 format because this is a 9 based format to actually get the piece off the board. So I hope you follow that. And one more thing we need to do is at the end of each row, let's space things out and put another new line in. So I'll just save that and compile and run. OK, and now the board prints off. All nine squares are empty at the moment, so just with the dash for empty, but at least it's looking a little bit cleaner. In fact, I'll add another new line here. Good, OK. So the next thing to do is, from our scheme here, let's put in the make move on board function. And it returns the move made. Sorry, it doesn't return the move made. We'll make it a void function. And we shall take a pointer to our board array. We'll take in the square that the move is being made on. And we'll also take in the side that is making the move. So either noughts or crosses. And quite simply, we're just going to say that the board at square equals the side, because the side is either noughts or crosses. So it's as simple as that to make the make move function, not very difficult at all. And to finish off this video, we're going to end, make one more function. It's going to return an integer, and I'm going to call it has empty. And it's going to ask whether the board, whoops, const int, pointer to our board array, has an empty square or not on it. And this also should be fairly easy to imagine how it's going to work. I'll paste the whole code in here that I've already prepared earlier. And we simply have our index for the loop and our integer to say whether things are empty or not. And in fact, we don't even need this empty integer, so I'll delete it. We simply loop through our nine squares. And if we come across a square that's empty, we already return a one because we found an empty square. And if not, we return a naught. And this function, for example, will be used down here where we say, if, there's no, if there are no more moves, so no empty squares, then the game is a draw. OK, so nothing to run or nothing really new to do apart from the print board in this video. But we've made a good stride already into setting the game up. In the next video, we'll look at this function here, which is actually to get a move from the human. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.